Hello from my in the house, agri lovers and agri -preneurs. Welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. Welcome back to Lamlat Agro Stores, where we deal with quality agricultural inputs like agrochemicals, pesticide, herbicide, insecticide, fungicide. Uh, we deal in fertilizer, we deal in quality seeds, we deal in uh, equipment like sprayer, fertilizer, applicator, and just name it, and consultancy services. So on today's episode, I want us to look at something very important as we are entering into the farming season. So I want to make some clarification and some explanation surrounding herbicide. So on today's episode, we are going to be looking at herbicide as a whole, uh, the different types we have, the di different classification and how it works. So that at the end of this video, you'll be able to know which type of herbicide you are supposed to be using at a particular time with a particular crop and uh, for a particular purpose. That is the purpose of today's video. So let's get to business without wasting much of your time. The term herbicide, the meaning of herbicide is chemical we use to kill wheat on our farm or chemicals that can be used to kill any plant. Do you get it? That is the meaning of herbicide. And we have different classification of herbicide. Uh, herbicide can be powder or liquid herbicide. Herbicide can also be systemic or contact. All of this I will explain. Herbicide can also be selective or non-selective. Herbicide can also be uh, herbicide can also be pre-emergence or post-emergence. Now, let me explain. We have powdered and liquid herbicide. That one is safe explanatory. Example of powdered herbicide I'll be showing you. This is Atrazine. Uh, this is Atras ATWP. This Atras ATWP is the, that is the brand name, but the name of this chemical is Atrazine. And it is in powdered form. So we have, and this is another one that is in liquid form. Just to show you that herbicide can be both in powdery form or liquid form. Now, to the second classification, which is contact or systemic. This is basically based on how this, how an, uh, how an herbicide acts or how an herbicide works. So when an herbicide is referred to as contact herbicide, it means when you spray this herbicide, if it touch the body of the target, crop or the target weed you are you are spraying it just for it to touch the leaf it will start acting almost immediately an example of that uh can be can be uh slasher good this is an example of a contact herbicide another example of contact herbicide is paraquat although paraquat uh is no more in circulation it has it's a banned chemical but you can also find it in some other group uh, chemical store. I don't have it. I only have its substitute. This is another contact herbicide, feed clay. It's also a family of paraquat. So that is how contact herbicide work. Then we have the systemic. The systemic are the ones that they usually refer to as seven days. Because when you spray it today, it will take about five to seven days before you start seeing the action, before you start seeing the target uh, weed or the target plant showing any form of discomfort or any form of death. Do you get it? An example of that uh, we have a uh, uproot is a common uh, example of a systemic herbicide, non-selective. So we have another type of uh, another type of uh, systemic, which is first of this one is very very common. Now the major characteristic of systemic Abicide is that they kill to the root. They kill to the root. And they work in the kind of system that they will knock out the crop or the abis uh, or the, 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 the weed from the root. Then we now talk about selective or non-selective. Now, majority of the herbicide you will see around are non-selective. And what we mean by selective or non-selective is that if you spray this chemical, the one that is non-selective, if you spray it, anything, any crop it comes in contact with, it will kill it. 
it will kill it. It will just kill it. Any green thing it comes in contact with after spraying, it will die. It must die by force. An example of them is force up or uproot. Or we have a we also have gobara. Gobara. And the common active ingredient in all of them is the chemical we call glyphosate. It is non-selective. It kills anything it comes in contact with. So if you are a kind of a farmer, this kind of chemical are being used basically for land clearing or for land preparation. You don't use it when you have crop growing on your farm. Do you get it? Now, to be on the silver side. I'm talking about the ones that are selective in nature. These are the ones that, uh, for example, you have a maize farm, for example. Your maize are growing, but you, are, you now find some kind of weed that are growing together with your maize. You want to kill those weed, but at the same time, you don't want to kill your maize, right? So there are some chemicals that are made specifically for this purpose. When you mix it and you spray on the weed, even if it touches your maize, your maize will not die. But the weed will die. Now, those are the selective in nature. An example of them, we have a striker. Another example of them, we have a atrazine. And one thing with selective herbicide is that they are specifically made for some certain crop. They are selective herbicide for tomato. Uh, I have one of them here. This is, this is one of them. Uh, they are selective chemical meant for cassava. Uh, we have potassium. We have potassium here. Then we have selective herbicide made for maize. So it is the type of crop that you are planting that will determine the type of the selective herbicide you want to buy. It might be in liquid form and it might be in, uh, in uh, what, do we, what do I call it now? It might be in liquid form or powdered form. So that is selective and non-selective. We talk about contact or systemic. Uh, we also talk about uh, selective or non-selective. So last but not least in our classification, we'll be talking about pre-emergence and post-emergence herbicide. Now, what do we call pre-emergence herbicide? Pre-emergence herbicide are the ones that you spray on the soil on your farm, on the soil surface on your farm. The essence of spraying this type of herbicide is for it to work on the soil and delay the emergence of new wheat. Now, for example, you've planted your maize, for example. You just planted your maize now. There are some type of chemical you will spray on the soil like that that will prevent the emergence of new wheat for about a month before you will see any other wheat. Example of them is um, atracin. As you can see, you see pre and post emergence herbicide. So it can be used as pre and post emergence at the same time. So we have some that are specifically pre emergence. Example of them is a booster. Booster is used in granite and in rice. After planting your granite or rice, you spray it to delay the emergence of new wheat so that your plant will have adequate nutrients and it will not have competition with wheat. It will have the buoyancy to grow well. You get it before you see any other thing. And when some wheat now come along again, you now spray what we call post-emergence. Post-emergence means when your crop are already grown or uh, when the weed surface, you get it, when the weed started growing, then you spray the post-emergence. Another example of post-emergence, uh, another example of post-emergence is legume force. We have legume force, we have a uh, twig. There are so many of them. So in essence, my advice to farmer would be Whenever you are buying herbicide, read the label. Normally, the producer will write the name of the brand name, the chemical that contains, and the type of the classification of the chemical you are buying. Whether it's contact, whether it's systemic, whether it's pre-emergence, whether it's post-emergence, whether it's selective, whether it's non-selective. So these are my uh, explanation regarding uh, herbicide. 
uh, I pray there will not be a situation whereby we use herbicide in the wrong way. There have been situations whereby farmers buy the wrong type of herbicide, they spray on their farm and they lose their crop. I pray this one will not be our home portion. With this, I've come to the end of today's topic and I hope you are, you've gotten value one way or the other from this uh, video. Uh, if you actually got value from this video and uh, this is your first time of watching, kindly click on subscribe button, share uh, to your friends so that they can also learn from this uh, video. Thank you for your time and see you on the next one. Shishi.